Peggy 18. Hi, I'm Didi, and I'm a game designer for Far Cry 3 at Ubisoft Massive. And this is Co-op. For the very first time, we're bringing you the opportunity to experience the Far Cry universe with your friends, both split-screen and online. You get to take on the role of one of four characters that's made just for co-op, as they make their way across the island searching for revenge. So what are we doing here? Offer a carload of diamonds, eh? I like it. It's our best bet of delaying the captain. If he doesn't finish the deal, he's not going anywhere. And we don't want him leaving without a bullet between the eyes. Bullet? By the time I'm done, you won't be able to tell his face from a squirrel in a wood chipper. That's sick, mate. Come on, convoy's still a ways off. This way. So Far Cry has always been about playing the game the way that you want to play it. That's why in co-op and multiplayer, you can create countless of loadouts with all of your favorite guns, skills, attachments, and lots of more stuff. Now, co-op takes place six months before single player, and these four strangers have teamed up and come to the island to hunt down the man who betrayed them and get back the money he stole. And with their backgrounds, they're just the sort of people who can tackle the island head on. Players have a choice right now, going quiet or going hard. We're going to use a brutal stealth kill to take down this patrol. Came from over there. So we've worked to create a unique campaign with combat scenarios that encourage and reward team play. Here, for instance, the players cover their teammates back while he fulfills the objective. And as you can see, the player is taking a lot of hits. But a teammate uses her battle cry to help him out. The battle cry is a brand new feature tailored for online play and it's just one of the many additions to the Far Cry 3 co-op mode. So the key to co-op is team play, but we also want to give players a chance to compete a little. And that's why each chapter has its own unique event where you get to show off your skills and compete for bragging rights among your friends. Hands off, he's mine. Ouch, another dead. So the mission here is to plant the explosives and blow up the bridge before the team gets wiped out. It's easier said than done. Luckily, when a teammate goes down, you have a little bit of time to get him back on his feet. There, he throws Molotov! So, um, while a player is carrying a box, he is completely vulnerable. So it's up to the rest of the team to keep him covered. It's one of many missions that we have that's made just for co-op that one player can't tackle alone. So on this island of insanity, only the toughest survive. But you got the advantage because you've got teammates. And we've taken that opportunity to make unique challenges that only the toughest team can survive. And it's a part of the island that you won't see anywhere else, with all new features, skills and levels made just for co-op. Stick together and play as a team, and you might just make it. Thanks for watching. Like us on Facebook for upcoming details about the game.